Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Broller Coaster here with episode 20 of Let's Play Half-Life 2. I decided to go ahead and cut out the death that I had at the end of the last episode, um, and then a couple of other seconds of footage that I also thought was completely useless to have. So we're basically back here, uh, going to go ahead and pick up friend turret here. Oh, and the only thing that we missed there, uh, I accidentally... Yeah, I accidentally kind of spaced out and wasn't around for it. But basically, we just missed the cutscene that explains that, like I've been saying from the beginning, that Judith uh, Mossman is a crazy, evil bitch, and we should all hate her for that. Let's get this crap out of the way so we can continue on the super happy fun time journey through the super happy fun time emporium known as Nova Prospect. That looks promising. God damn it, door. Here I am trying to do things neat and orderly, and you're just shutting on me like an asshole. What do we have down here? I don't really have to take this turret with me, but I figure it's better to have an extra helping hand on, like, you know, hand. Since uh, Alex is going to be MIA for God knows how long. Plus, it makes really handy work of head crabs. Nope. Not falling over today, buddy. And in a pinch, it also makes for a really good projectile. Oh, turret, is there anything that you can't do? Make sandwiches. Probably. What do we have through here? Oh, great. It's exactly what I was afraid it was going to be earlier. It's a uh, water-filled area that is also filled with electricity. Get the hell out of here. Oh, God. All right, this is going to be really difficult. So we'll hopefully get through this without any problems. Oh, boy. Okay, that's at least dry land, so that's safer. Um, there's got to be a safer way to do this, but I can't see it. So, I guess we're going to be doing the stupid thing. Yep, definitely doing the stupid thing here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, we're good. Just keep moving on. There we go. Perfect. Didn't even take any damage. Luckily. Kind of surprised that I didn't, actually. Alright, we've got a couple of zombie corpses, but we're not seeing them standing up. I don't trust you. With good reason, apparently. I hear somebody shrieking out there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out Old Rusty here. I don't know why I named this gun Old Rusty. If anything, I should name it New Shiny. Or Bullet Fasty. Fasty Bullet bullet nozzle dispenser here what do we got up here ammo for the pistol two whole shots oh do they know it's christmas time and an energy ball that i can't use let's see what is this this is a weird barricade i don't understand why it's built like this well it's full of energy so I'm not gonna complain too hard all right, so we've got two cells, or se we got a cell block here, it looks like, with people inside that are shooting at me. So, I guess we know what the solution here is, right? Introduce them to my friends Smith and Wesson. West, Weston. I actually feel really stupid. I'm totally blanking on how to pronounce the gun man, like one of the most major gun manufacturers in the country. I know how to pronounce Winchester. So I got that down at least. I'm just gonna keep throwing grenades. This seems to be a good response to all of the problems in my life. Yep. Seems to be working out well so far. Stop it. I'm confused about the blast radius of these grenades. Sometimes it seems like it's two feet, like, away from them that it'll just absolutely incinerate everything. But then it sometimes also seems like if it's not, like... Or if it's within... I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Let's think. Oh, great. 
what I'm trying to say is the grenades are weird because sometimes it seems like they have to be right next to a dude for it to do anything. And other times it seems like it can be a half a block away from them and they'll explode anyway. So I don't know how grenades work. All I know is that gunpowder is awesome. Gunpowder gelatine, dynamite with a laser beam, guaranteed to blow your mind. Ooh, recommended at the price, insatiable in appetite. Let's get this going, guys. Come on. I don't have all day. Not getting any younger. I don't really know what the best strategy for this area is. So I'm just gonna keep running around and be playing cert like turret maid, turret butler, turret repairman guy. That seems like a pretty good plan. Because if nothing else, I get to shoot dudes that are shooting at my friends. And waste grenades. Fuck. Well that wasn't a waste. Neither was that. Nothing pleases my soul quite like hearing people shrieking from being exploded by grenades. I've said a lot of things in this Let's Play that make me sound like a complete and total psychopath, and I don't apologize for that at all. Nice. Alright, go ahead and heal up at our magical wall turrets. Wall dispensers, wall health -a givers Oh, hey, what is that? Energy. Eh, not so useful. You just knocked over my best friend, you asshole. Don't worry, turret. I'll set you back up. Leave him alone. He's going through a tough time. Nice. You know, if you're going to run up and hit a turret, you should probably complete the second part of your plan there. Running up behind a turret and just playing tag with it doesn't really do all that much. So I wonder what you have to do to get promoted from yellow-eyed SMG-wielding grunt to red-eyed shotgun-wielding grunt. Because I certainly didn't have to do any of that bullshit. I just picked up the gun. I was born with a silver gun in my mouth. That sounds much darker than it was supposed to. Get up. Catch. Stop! There we go. Oh! Mother load of soldiers. Great. Just what I wanted. More dudes sticking their guns in my ass. Alrighty then. What else we got? Oh! Hello! You shouldn't scare people like that. You also shouldn't shoot people like that. Asshole. Get some health. Hopefully don't die. Gonna die anyway. And I can hear a man hack and it's right next to me. Oh, fuck. Alright, we seem to be doing well so far. Keep up the good work, everybody. I feel like this is the best team ever. What should we call ourselves? Team Dynamite. Team Dynamite's kind of generic. Team... Bullet. Bullet. Yeah, I got nothing. What's up, Alex? Help me out here. Sorry to take so long, Gordon. Looks like you could have used some help. Eh. Don't worry, I had Team Dynamite to help me. Isn't that right? High five! High five! Alright, I'm taking one of these guys with me. You will be Jeremiah the Turret. I don't know why all of the names that I pick for things are always old. Old names. Fill me up faster. You're taking too long. I'm in a hurry. I've got a train to catch. Literally. Oh, stand up. There we go. And that way's blocked off, so we're not going that way. Good to know. Oop, dropped him. 
All right, what's up, Alex? What do we have here? Looks like a lot of bullshit to me. Yep, I was right. <laughs> Excuse you? I'm sorry, what just happened? Oh shit. They killed Jeremiah. I'll avenge you! Yeah, so the thing that I found out the hard way playing through this area a couple of other times is, uh, it's really, really easy for Alex to get killed here, so... Don't. Die. Alex. Or else I'll be very sad. And then I'll be very mad. And you won't be very glad. Because you're dead. Like these guys. You know, if they wanted to get the drop on us, like with the darkness and all that, they did a pretty good job. But the fact that they then immediately popped 18 flares down here was a pretty dumb decision. Another pretty dumb decision is the fact that I'm about to die again. Do I have grenades? I do have grenades. Alright. You there. Hide over here. I heard death noises. The best kind of noises. Come on. What do we if there's no ammo, there's no anything in here? Oh great, I'm gonna die. Oh, never mind. False alarm, Alex. Don't worry. I know you were really really worried about me there, but don't worry. I'll tough out my wounds like a man. Another security station. With three energy balls. I hope the energy balls is an energy drink. And I hope that I can get endorsed by them. Feeling tired? Why don't you drink some of my energy balls? What? Oh, hey. Got you a present. It's sharp and travels at high velocities. And a table. What? We killed everybody that was trying to kill us, Alex. There really is, wasn't any hurry there at all. Also, what the hell is that? That looks like a big silo. I'm sure it's not in any way relevant to the plot. Leave the talking to you. Hardy har har. That's hilarious. <sighs> Taking a sip of some delicious water there. It is not, however, future water. Future water is probably full of vitamins and mind-controlling parasites. <coughs> and death. <coughs> Jeez. All right, we're good. You know what I think? I think that that looks a little bit like GLaDOS's eye, which means that you're GLaDOS, which means that this is the... I've already reprogrammed the modulator to Com the Zen Combine's portal gun that they made. Confirmed. Portal and Half-Life 2 are in the same universe. Enough of your bullshit. To anybody wondering, I already know that Valve has said that they're in the same universe, so whatever. No thanks to you. Uh, that Just looks like a turret, or a needle, or a movie camera. It's probably a movie out, camera. Judith seems like the kind that would want to have, like, video cameras on her at all times, because she's either narcissistic or really, really kinky. Can't really tell. Probably both. Give me first AD. That looks like an eye. It's like it's staring into my soul, and that's somehow giving me suit back. Energy back. Whatever. This looks like a... This looks like one of those things that you get into at the state fair. Or at, like, really, really cheap amusement parks, where it just kind of catapults you into the sky. Are we getting into this thing? Good. And just in time. I don't know why I would ever want to get into one of those things. Seems really claustrophobic. Don't worry about me, sweetheart. Judith! I see they set you free. Ha! Irony. Eli! I was so worried about you. So this is the combine smaller than I Not the first time I've heard that. 